Right, some time ago um, I did a video and showed how to change the um, cross slide on the MyFed ML7 for the long one and I fitted that on mine. Um, that's the one with the extra slot. This is the old um, cross slide um, that I've taken off. And I've had it put by for some time wondering what I could use it for. I thought maybe it'd be good for um, on the bench drill for holding work. Um, but after seeing um, a video on YouTube today where someone made a milling pallet for the ML7, I thought, well, this would make a good one of those. And it's dead easy to convert because all the slots are in the same position as the um, long one. And all you have to do is um, drill four holes to accept six millimeter allen bolts um, dead in the center of those um, slots um, i did mine um, 10 millimeter in from the sides to the center of the holes and to get it the correct height for milling and to make it adjustable i've um, made four bushes um, these are eight ten thou thick um, 28 millimeter in diameter so you just need a 28 millimeter diameter bar and part off these face um, all the same and the heads of the allen bolts have to be turned down so that they go in between these grooves and um, those go into the holes And then the bushes go on the underside. And then the T-nuts um, go on the bolts. Obviously the um, T-nuts would be in the slots on the long cross slide. And you'd actually be doing this on the lathe. And it's very easy to position up and get the bolts um, correct. And then you have the versatility of using all these slots um, for clamps to hold the work. And you can obviously adjust the height um, by putting um, bushes or uh, large washers in between on the top. I've used 8mm um, T-bolts with the clamps, um, this one would have to go in between these two, so that would slide in there, or whatever groove you want it in. and maybe a clamp there and then I've got a piece of um, aluminium uh, flat bar which I'm using as a backstop and to position the work nice and square and that will stop it from moving at all backwards give it extra support um, so that one will go in there like that and then this is the workpiece, um, for example. That one would go on there like that. You'd get it nice and square, lock that one up solid. Nice and square so there's a bit of an overhang for the milling. And then do the clamps down on the work. So this is the milling pallet bolted onto the um, cross slide of the ML7, nice and square, um, just with the four bolts. I've taken the thread dial indicator off the back there and put an aluminium bar, flat bar on the back of that one. And the clock zeroed on that. I'm using a carriage stop with adjustment and the carriage lock. I have an ER40 um, collet chuck there 
with a large end mill bit for flute. So the brass workpiece was firstly squared up on the pallet. I slid the backstop up against that one nice and square and that's an 8mm thread um, T-nut or T-bolt um, locked down nice and tight. These are 8mm um, T-bolts here and the clamps are done up nice and square and nice and tight. And you can see how solid this setup is. Um, it's much better in some respects uh, for certain jobs than using the actual vertical milling fixture. Um, it is very good for doing consistent batch work of reducing stock to exact sizes. So it's a very versatile pallet fixture. And if you've bought a long cross slide, make sure you keep your old one. I've had this one for some time now, wondering what I was going to use it for. I thought about selling it at one point, but I'm glad I didn't now, because this is a great tool to have.